Hey friends, welcome back to another episode of Seven Days to Die Darkness Falls Mod. So this is uh, completely modded and overhauled. Anyway, if you want to start out from day one, if you're new here, definitely check out the top pin comment. I always put my playlist up in there for you. Uh, but anyway, uh, we just ended the last Horde night. We did pretty damn well. We were able to keep it under control. We actually have uh, pretty minimal damage, but we found out just how soft this floor is by using my rifle on it. The rifle easily uh, penetrated those wood blocks. So yeah, we really need to get on top of replacing those. So that's our resource sink for this week is uh, getting the floor of this uh, base entirely uh, upgraded for us here. Uh, but today we have a free day. We did well with the horde. We uh, really don't have to repair it too much or worry about it. So we can take the day off of uh, doing any of that stuff and go and have some fun. We're going to go and talk to uh, Trader Caitlin here and uh, Apparently she gives a T5 quest uh, for one of those dungeons. So that's that's pretty damn cool. And uh, if we take a look here, I need a mental reminder as well. We're level 79. Holy crap, how close are we? Look how close we are to level 80, guys. Oh, I was going to head off to Caitlyn today, but level 80 unlocks uh, so much potential for us here. All right, that took a uh, few seconds, but I got my bike sorted here. I got my inventory sorted. So we actually need to head back to the Horde base and uh, grab my regular inventory and uh, all of our ammo here. So if we take a look in my uh, mini bike storage, uh, we actually have uh, a hazmat set ready and uh, some food and uh, just general uh, health stuff here. Uh, we do have a trader, Caitlin, that is in the uh, the burnt. Uh, bro oh, wait, no, that's not a trader, Caitlin, right there. Uh, there's a trader, Caitlin, right here. She's a little hard to get to, kind of a pain in the butt. Most of it is off road through here. Uh, and we do also have another second trader, Caitlin, way up in the radiated biome. So I think in order to do that quest, we would actually have to have the radiated mod in our armor because uh, otherwise our armor absolutely sucks and I think we'd get our butt handed to us. We're going to have to really depend on that armor. So we need to get that little bit, just one tool belt width, um, like a little thing down the corner there, you can see it, whatever, uh, to get level 80 so we can actually unlock those mods. So I think what we're going to do here is uh, just go and, and hit up a house and uh and loot it give it a quick old loot uh so these places nearby i'm pretty sure i've looted actually most of these uh maybe not this one right here that one's actually kind of tiny did we loot this one you know what whatever let's go in guns are blazing i just need to kill some zombies here and uh get myself some levels so we can get level 80 and unlock ourselves uh some pretty damn cool things all right here we go so uh we're gonna whip out the ar here to start Easily take care of that guy. Um, I think, ooh, oh yeah, all my ammo guys. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to go get all my regular ammo and then we'll uh, quickly loot a POI just to get some XP. Oh no, look at this. I get back to the base. Uh, my turrets are sitting there. They're kind of lonely, almost uh, broken down. And uh, we have a few visitors here. So this stuff I'm actually going to keep here. This is just all general repairs and stuff. It'll probably be good to have on us. And uh, I'll take the rest. And we'll leave this uh, nail gun behind too. Don't really need that at all. So uh, that can stay here. Sweet. We have all of our stuff back here. Let's get this loaded. And uh, oh wow, look at this. This is zombie bear just kind of chilling out down there. Derping out on the... Um on the bars, holy crap, look at all of them. These these wandering hordes are actually getting pretty serious. So, uh, oh, will this give us en enough XP to actually, oh crap. Oh, look at that, guys. See, that is why I really needed to upgrade those to, um, uh, to iron, those things are insane. Did we take down that police officer? Did we take him out? Yeah, I think we took him out, guys. I just didn't want him to explode. That would have been uh, a bad thing, too. Even more damage to that floor down there. Uh, pretty devastating. Okay, there we go. Actually, not really devastating. Let's be digging down in the dirt. We have lots of dirt. And uh, one more remaining guy down here. And look at that. We leveled. We're actually past 80 now. Wow, that was actually really easy. Uh, six, so let's go ahead then and uh, take a look at our skill points. We have six available. I've been saving them here. Uh, so the first thing we want to invest in... 
Science Crafting Level 5 unlocks T3 Mod Crafting, which is those radiated pieces, and that uh, decreases crafting time by 5%. So uh, that's kind of cool. But it's that T3 Mod Crafting we wanted. Now, if we go to look at uh, Radiated here, uh, we can get... Oh, there's Anti-Radiation Pills? You can get that through uh, Master Scientist. That's actually kind of cool. A Placeable Flag... Oh, neat. I wonder what it looks like. I wonder if it's a flag that looks like that. That's kind of cool. I never knew that was uh, in the game. We'll have to uh, take a look at some point. Uh, so these are them, the Radiation Ready uh, mods here. So they took uh, 15 generic schematics each. Ouch. Uh, 12 hazmat fiber and some duct tape. So they're not too bad. We can actually do this. I think we can uh, whip these together uh, very easily. So I'm going to go ahead, I think, and repair these. They're going to lose some of their level, but... Um, I don't really care. They can suck it up. Okay, awesome. So we got level 80 here. Uh, let's go home and uh, see what we can actually make for radiated pieces. All right, so we have uh, three hazmat stuff just in our clothing and armor stuff. So we're going to give those a scrap down. There we go. So that will actually make us one mod piece, which uh, which is not too bad. Uh, I think I was throwing some under miscellaneous as well. Yes, we have a, we have a set in the mini bikes, so uh, we're good to go there. We really don't need to uh, be holding on to these. There we go. Look at all that hazmat stuff to scrap down. That's pretty sick. We have uh, only 84 generic schematics, so we'll, maybe we'll have to buy some more of those. We got tons of key cards and stuff there. I think. Uh, uh, we might have to collect maybe a few more of these to go do the next dungeon. I hear it's a, a little bigger, so that's a little bit of a challenge. Oh, and look at this. We have three treasure maps, guys, that we should be using. Uh, now, someone keeps suggesting to make a um, a tablet here, a military tablet. That's actually locked behind the master science tree. Uh, so I don't have that, and I don't really plan on getting it anytime soon. So, I mean, that would be cool. It allows you to see through the ground and through walls and stuff. But, I mean, it's not really necessary at this point in time. Okay, look at that. Look at all the hazmat fiber stuff we have. So, uh, we would need, I think, uh, five in total. So for these mods here, we're going to make these actually in the uh, the sewing table here. I totally forgot about this. Uh, so let's look this up. Radiation ready uh, boots. And uh, apparently I'm missing a whole bunch of duct tape. I'm going to go make those up. But this is pretty exciting. We can get these mods and uh, maybe go and see, uh, see, see Caitlin here. Probably won't be getting there today. Uh, maybe be able to accept a quest and hide out for the night and then start it in the morning. That might be cool. That would be a thing we could do. So we can make a few of these up now. I got everything uh, organized here and uh, some stuff on uh, the way. I got to repair my pickaxe. We found one uh, uh, just recently, so I'm going to use that to uh, repair it and uh, keep that level 51 on me. So let's go ahead and make the radiation ready boots. We can make one of those uh, radiation ready chest. Ooh, we can make three pieces here so far. So there's three. And uh, I just need the last two. So how many more do we need? We need... Um, the helmet and the pants, so we need 12 and 12, so we need 24 more uh, to make the full set. So yeah, we definitely don't have enough, uh, but we already have three, so that's looking uh, pretty damn good. We'll have to keep really keep an eye out here and uh, kill all of the radiated zombies that we can find, or the, all the, uh, the workers and stuff. Uh, they're the ones that drop them. So I'm going to get this stuff put away here, and uh, we'll head out, and you know what? We're going to go ahead and do these treasure maps here. We'll start out this one here. Uh, this will probably take up the rest of the day, and then maybe we'll head out real early morning and uh, try to get to that trader. At least uh, accept a quest. Uh, we won't be able to... Oh, wait. If the quest actually... We'll try to get a quest that lands outside of the radiated zone, if that's a thing. Oh, look at this. So our first treasure chest actually leads us down to an area we haven't even uh, gone to yet. So nice. We'll be able to unlock some of that fog of war. And, oh, <laughs> I was going to check to see if we had anything in the chemistry station, but it is done for. All right. I can't take the wait to, to take the walls and stuff out of this place and make it a little more, more uh, standalone and efficient and uh, have those trader guards so they can pretty much uh, shoot anywhere. Okay. This is going to be a little bit of a trip, guys. I'll see you over there. 
This happens so often, um, I'm starting to think it's not a uh, coincidence anymore. Look at this, guys came across a uh, random airdrop that's been sitting out here. I don't really chase these things too, uh, too much, unless they're really close and I can find them early game. Uh, but it is nice coming across, and look at that, we got another steel pickaxe. Forgot to repair the one we have, but that's okay. Uh, it's level 51, so that'll be actually um, a good backup here. And ooh, sick. Got myself uh, some free honey going on here. I don't want to disassemble the bee. I just want to take its honey. There we are. Okay, uh, I got 473 meters left to go. This is a little bit of a pain in the butt to drive through. It's uh, a really hilly area. Oh no, check this out guys. There's another airdrop over here. So there's where a treasure is right over there. It's uh, real close. Uh, but look at this. Found another freaking airdrop on the way. So this is like a, a triple treasure run here. This is insane. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, pop that bad boy open. And what do we have? We have just an axe. Uh, ooh, some cornmeal. Uh, some forged iron. Some steel crossbow bolts. Okay, well, that's not too bad, actually. It's really definitely worth a stop to pick those off when you see them still. Okay, so I found it here. Uh, we have our treasure cast. It's a uh, cache. It's locked. Uh, but the fortunate thing about this is not like the tier fives. Oh, I totally forgot to check to see if we have a tier five uh, buried treasure uh, before we headed out. We sh totally should have done that. That's my bad. Those things are uh, crazy OP and uh, pretty easy to do. We just take the off the hell out of there and uh, just don't deal with the zombies. Screw the zombies, right? It's all about the treasure. Uh -huh. Anyway, uh, really like those. Uh, that's definitely a new thing that's in this mod. I hope they introduce them in an actual uh, vanilla themselves, too, because it's, it's kind of sucks that you don't get them all the way through the end. Okay, so we got uh, cooling mesh uh, mod and some old cash. Ouch. Ooh. Well, that's not that great of a, a buried treasure. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, let's go ahead then, and uh, you know what? We're going to read it where we stand. Let's go ahead and uh, read another one here. I think you can only read one of each type at a time, so we're, that's what we're going to do here. Okay, and it's right over here. That's actually not too bad. Let's hop on that mini bike and investigate. Wow, look at this area, guys. It is just madness in here. Okay, so we're going to dump the mini bike over there. That thing is toast. Uh, we're going to have to actually, I think, uh, pick it up here. Like, look at this area. It's all jaggedy. It's all rockety. It's all weird. I don't like it at all. We got a mountain lion over here. There we go. I'll turn him into food. We got ourselves a, a little bit of a piggy over there. We'll turn him into food, too. Uh, but yeah, it looks like we got another airdrop over there as well. These, uh, these were actually really worth coming and doing. I can't believe, uh, the amount of airdrops that land in the same areas, um, as a treasure. Or just, like, generally in the same area as a treasure. That's insane. Alright, uh, always keep your gun out here in the winter biome. Winter, bi winter biome's not the toughest, but you can get surprised. Uh, look at that. We got another robotic sledge. We got some steel sledgehammer that'll actually... Wow, level 60. Damn. It doesn't even sell that well to the trader. But, hey, it's trader money, right? So uh, that's what we'll do with it. All right, a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, and now, let's do some digging. And for a treasure cast here... Cash, sorry, we got a steel spear, some ammo. Wow, really not uh, not that great, these treasure caches, on, or, uh, caches anymore, to be honest. Uh, those airdrops seem to be uh, a little bit more powerful than those ones, which is uh, kind of a, a little bit disappointing. What's over there? Is that something we've discovered? Oh, it absolutely is. Okay, never mind. All right, so I'm going to hop on my mini bike here. It's 1715. We're going to head back, talk to the trader, and uh, see if he has any buried treasure quest because uh, those ones also uh, give very, very good awards. Re oh, awards. There we go. I'll accept my Emmy from you. Okay, Trader Hugh, uh, what is up? Do you have any jobs? Oh, they're just fetches, fetches, and clears. Yeah, it's a buried treasure that I, I really, really want. So let's talk to the uh, guard captain here and uh, see if he has any jobs. Fetch, clear, fetch, clear, fetch, yeah, all 
The garbage jobs. Okay. Well, uh, that answers that one. So what I'm going to do here is uh, we got a lot of work to do here on the overnight. I got to get all of this stuff organized. Our dump chest is full too. This is just absolutely absurd. Uh, and I have a whole bunch of stuff to sell the trader too. So may as well make up that trader coin and then uh, we'll head out and uh, see Caitlin. And I got to remember to try to bring those coins too. Um, at least see if we can get a tier five that maybe lands us outside of the radiated zone. That way we can actually uh, do the quest and uh, build some favor with Caitlyn. So it's 2145 and I think I've pretty much got everything nice and uh, organized here. So uh, that actually didn't take me uh, too long. We got everything out of the dump chest. I went and sold a whole bunch of stuff to the tra uh, trader. Of course, I'm going to go sell this stuff here after the... Uh, uh, the day flips over because he wouldn't buy it, but I got two, four, six, eight, ten, almost uh, 110,000 Duke's Casino tokens. So hopefully I remember to bring those with us. But a good overnight project then while I'm uh, kind of waiting here for uh, and uh, abiding my time is... Uh, no, shush, is uh, our downwards project here. We want to go all the way down to bedrock. That way we can do some mining and stuff with our auger and uh, be completely uninterrupted and hopefully introduce um, uh, some more forges and stuff so we can get some mass production going on. Maybe I'll build a giant forge facility um, a little off, maybe um, off in that direction. I think west would be the best way to go because uh, there's no POIs to reset out that way. Uh, but I did come across a little bit of iron in here. So every time I come down this way, what I'm going to do is uh, bang on a little bit of iron. I think we're still close enough to the ground that the screamers can sense us from here. So uh, I'm only going to take a little bit at a time uh, so we don't actually attract those screamers because breaking iron nodes... Uh, blocks here like doors and, and even stuff like blocks um, will actually increase the heat maps so that's why uh, when you're digging out iron and crap uh, you're going to be getting screamers like crazy. So I want to be nice and safe and go all the way down to bedrock here. Uh, there we go. That's good enough for now and gave us uh, just over um, half a stack. So uh, I'm going to continue my way down here uh, once I, oh no, get some wood and some ladders and uh, keep making my way towards bedrock here. Here we are guys, I got down to 16 uh, meters, so uh, bedrock is at plus 3 meters, so that only leaves me 13 blocks left to go down here. Uh, so yeah, looking pretty damn good, pretty exciting getting this done. This is uh, a little bit tedious, but uh, we got some more uh, stone going on here, we got a little bit more iron. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and uh, chop out a little bit more iron here before we go up. Uh, here we go, it's about probably 5 or 6 blocks worth. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to actually turn that iron here um, into some iron ingots because we still need to upgrade some of those wood bars. I don't know if you guys saw that, but we had one uh, blowout, which was uh, pretty damn crazy. So 1,245, that should cover our iron needs for a little while. And it honestly didn't really take that long to uh, get that once I got down there. I'm really excited to uh, get the auger going here too, which is... Uh, a uh, pretty big deal. So uh, what do we do at first sand here? Three, 436. I do believe we had some going in here. Uh, we did. Awesome. Does that mean we can now make some more? Ah, we do have cement mix. Okay, let's get some more cement going on here. Concrete mix. Uh, and I'm going to get my inventory uh, organized and uh, we're actually going to head out here because uh, it's um, almost uh, morning time and by the time we get to anywhere dangerous, uh, it's going to be daytime anyway. So we're going to be heading right up here to this trader uh, off in the distance, Trader Caitlin. Okay, so one thing I'm really running out of is actual rounds here. So I'm going to put these in for uh, 20 minutes. We don't actually have a lot of coil rounds and stuff, which is... Uh, uh, a little sketchy here to do a tier 5. I really didn't think that one through. We have enough uh, ammo for our turrets here. Uh, but I definitely don't think that's going to be uh, enough. So we're going to head up, uh, talk to her, see what she's all about, and then uh, head back if we have to. So it's going to be, I think, uh, a little bit of a trip, but uh, definitely worthwhile. And we've made it back to Trader Caitlin here. Apparently I left all of her doors open. Sorry about that, Caitlin. That's uh, completely my bad. And you know what? Oh, I forgot the Trader Caitlin. Uh, but that's okay because we uh, may have to come back. So let's see the, uh, her jobs here. We want something that's south. we got a Tier 5 fetch that's um, just south here, 977 meters south. 
Um, I think we can. I think we can handle that one, and it may actually end up outside here. We got a factory large zero one. Uh, we'll probably be able to per, um, um, uh, nerd pull our way up, get in there, get our stuff, and get out with all the ammo we have, and uh, start working uh, some favor here uh, towards uh, uh, Caitlin. So let's go ahead. And see in her secret stash here. See what is going on. I think you may have to get her favor up to get the uh, the the laser workbench as an actual uh, um, item. All right, hey, there we go. Oh, she's pretty nice. Okay, so uh, that's pretty much it for this episode, I think, guys. Uh, I have run completely out of time for recording. Uh, we'll come back next episode. We'll pop off uh, this quest here real fast. Probably uh, maybe. Uh, do the dead drive home here again. It is quite the drive. Um, go grab the rest of our ammo and uh, see about doing some more Trader uh, Caitlin uh, quest here. Now, I'm kind of thinking maybe making a forward base in this area might be a good idea at some point too because I have a feeling we'll be coming back here uh, a few times. Oh, how about you here, Guard Captain? I don't think your uh, jobs really count here towards uh, hers, but... Uh, no buried supplies. That's what I was looking for. All right, guys, as usual, if you like the video, hit that like button, stay classy, and always back up them game saves. No matter what you people say, I'm gonna do my thing my way. No matter what you people do, I'm gonna do my thing much better than you. No matter what you say or do, oh boy, you're out of luck. It's gonna roll right off of me like water off the back of a duck And I go Yeah, I go Yeah, 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 I go And I go Good boy.